If you just got up, version two is now out. But first, gotta grab my coffee. I'll be right back. Oh, that was good. All right, Fujifilm just launched the new version two of its X webcam software. As some of you know, this software allows you to use certain X and GFX cameras as a webcam. And version two builds upon that, adding some new features, allowing you to use your camera as a webcam much more efficiently. The first major update, of course, is that you can now change things like film simulation, the exposure via the exposure comp dial, as well as white balance adjustments while the camera is connected so you no longer have to disconnect power off the camera and make your changes and go back and reconnect it it's going to make it much simpler to get the right exposure and the right look straight out without having to uh, fiddle a lot with the camera the updated software is based on the latest firmware of whichever camera that you're connected to. So you might want to update your camera's firmware so that any settings that are available on the menu itself is reflective of what your camera is capable of. Now with exposure compensation, of course, you can adjust the exposure with plus to minus three. And with white balance, you have all the adjustments, including custom white balance options that are now built in and directly controlled from the computer. Now the great thing about this software is that a window opens up for you to change those parameters and once you make those changes and you turn off the camera it will remember those settings the next time you turn the camera on making it a lot simpler. New features also include things like instant AF, the auto exposure lock as well as a digital zoom feature that you can use when the camera is connected as a webcam. When it comes to instant AF, if you're in the manual focus mode or the single AF mode on your camera, uh, it will acquire the focus as you push the button. Of course, you wanna set your pre-AF to off, otherwise the focusing would just always continue on. In order for the auto exposure lock to properly function, of course, you can't have the camera set to the manual uh, exposure settings. In addition to that, of course, you need to have the preview exposure white balance setting on, which is generally the default settings for the majority of X and GFX cameras. A nice addition to this new updated software, of course, is that it does offer some new warning screens. Uh, you do have your standby screen that says X webcam, but now you have icons representing different warning issues. It could be that the camera is not connected or turned on, and that would be your standard uh, you know, X webcam standby screen. It could also mean that you have a conflict with another application, perhaps it's utilizing the camera, therefore you can't see it in this particular software. You might want to close up all the other applications, turn off the camera on and on again to try it to see if it fixes that. Of course, there's also the warning of when you have it on the wrong USB mode. Again, for a tutorial about how to connect your camera as, as a webcam using the X webcam software, check out some of the other videos that we produce that shows you step-by-step uh, -step instructions on how to get that running for you. There's also another generic warning that tells you that there is a problem. Uh, the best thing to do probably is just to make sure you restart your computer and reset your camera and that might fix the issue if you see something like that. You also have a low battery warning so that you know before you even start the video conferencing, it's gonna warn you that you, it's low and you may wanna have a, a freshly charged battery in order to do your video conferencing with the camera. Of course, this new software is available for both Windows and Mac, and you can find the software in our downloads page under the supports tab of the fujifilm-x.com website. If you have a compatible camera, why don't you try out the software and let us know what you think in the comments below. I'll see you next time.